homemade burglar alarm with coffee cans. So I ripped the battery box out of a kid's toy. We got a little on off switch. And I'm going to wire this up so we can use it for our burglar alarm. Get rid of this wire here. This one should be there instead. Put a little flux on there that helps it melt faster. It's just easier to solder that way. Alright, got my black wire for my negative. These are running series. These are connected. So the positive is touching the negative. And then there's a positive and a negative right there. This is positive coming off the switch, negative coming off of the battery. What I've got here is just a little piece of metal. It's an old battery contact from something that I removed. I'm going to have to solder the positive here on the side of this. I'm going to put a little bit of flux on there. This is a flux paste. They make a, different, a lot of different fluxes. You just need to smear some on there. It helps the, it's kind of like a glue. It helps it stick when you go to solder the wire on. Alright, that is on there. Give it a little tug. Yeah, that's on there pretty good. Let's go ahead and take that off. We're going to need one of these on here too, but I need it on the other side. I'll show you why in a little bit. But it needs to be soldered on the opposite side here. Get this wire on here. There we go. Alright, next I am going to need to plug in my hot glue gun. I will be right back. Alright, so while I was waiting for the hot glue to heat up, uh, hot glue gun there. I went ahead and broke these little tabs off of here so this will sit a little bit better. I'm going to glue it onto this board here. And I need to put this on here. And glue it.
this is going to have to go here too. This is why I did it on the other side. So the wires weren't there. Go ahead and glue that on there. Oh, my glue wasn't dry yet. Yeah, I gotta go ahead and let this dry a little bit here. Alright, now we need to have our negative wire from our motor here out of the kid's toy here. We're going to have to have that negative wire connect to the negative on here. So I'm just going to take this off and use a longer wire. This one. And we'll hook this one up. Alright, back to the hot glue. I'll put a little down here. It just gives us a little base that's easier to glue down with. Our motor's going to go somewhere in there when we get it attached. Okay, so for the coffee cans, I want one right around here. Let that dry for a little bit. Okay, the glue is now dry. I had a pause there for you. Um, I'm going to go ahead and tie this on here. It needs to be a little bit shorter. go ahead and just tie that in there now if you notice in this gear I put a hole in the gear there so I can put my 
string through there. This twine will go right through. Yeah, that's gonna take another try. I'll be right back. I'm gonna do this off camera. I'm gonna be gluing this motor uh, down in here, here in this area. So what I'm doing is just trying to make sure that I've got the right length right here to hit that. And then the same on the other side. We want to be able to hit both sides. So I think we got a pretty good length there. I'm going to go ahead and glue it in. Of course, I'm going to go back in here and cut this off when I glue dries. I think we're in a good spot. Now let's just try again, make sure. Better to make sure before I glue it. spot of glue down here. So I tried to test it real quick and the rope broke and fell off because that spins, spins so fast. So. Uh, I'm going to have to get a different string for that that will hold better. Okay, I did find some different string here and got it in there and I've got it right about where I need it. It's going to hit the outside. It's a little off on that side. I'm going to have to move this motor over just a little bit. So I'm going to get this the right length, but that's something you'll have to work at. Okay, I have the distance worked out. Now we're touching that side. Touching that side. Now I'm going to get my... I already tacked my motor down a little bit there. So I'm going to get the rest of it tacked down. should hold it pretty good when that dries. I'm going to let it dry. Alright, that's getting drier. I'm going to go ahead and put this battery door on this thing. Uh, 
right. Go ahead and get this part glued down. battery sled needs to get glued down as well. Let's let this dry. All right, now that I got the glue dry there, I am gonna go ahead and just solder these two wires together. flux on there. There we go. Cover that in glue there, it'll be fine. Okay, so this is a break in it right there. You want to take and put this something in between there, stop from making a connection. And go ahead and turn it on. Okay, we've got a live power to it. Now, <clears throat> you take on this back side and just put some sticky tape. Put it right up against them, you know, up against your door. Attach it to your door. And you attach a rope or something to the wall over here. When somebody pushes that door open, you got your burglar alarm. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel.